Oh, you have a shotgun, I'd rather you not shoot me. Oh shit. Thank you for the shot. I'm not even gonna have to buy shotgun shells at this rate. I'm just gonna be able to collect them all. What was this? Oh, first aid kit, of course. Like, I'm just gonna be able to collect all the shotgun shells I need. No problemo. Right there. It's a shadow. Dry drops of water. What? Okay. I'm not profiling. We'll save that for when we get all the clues. I Agent's honor. Don't mind if I do. Yes. Yes. Like I got wrecked. More shotgun shells. Yeah, I'm definitely not even gonna have to buy them. Like all these guys are just dropping them. I don't know what this guy dropped. Oh, submachine gun ammo. More shotgun shells. Look at this. This is amazing. Never gonna have to buy them in my life. Cola? Can't even take it. Whatever, let's find this other stupid clue. There it is. Great. Great. Bullseye. Nice shot, yes, bullseye. Oh, your. Oh, red seed. As if we didn't have enough red seeds as clues already. Here's another one. You got red seed. Well, now we can see what the hell was going on in his profiling vision. One day, maybe. There we go. What happened? All right. Raincoat killer came through, dropped some seeds. Found the safe. Looks like he went rifling through it. He broke one of them open. And he left with something. Stole Zach, some documents. Looks like we need to continue our search for the documents. He stole our documents. What a rat bastard. George, I'll get right to the point. It looks like someone else has just removed the documents I'm looking for. Huh? Removed? The cabinet looks like it had been forced open. That's impossible. No one could break into there. No, Emily. There is one person that can access that room at any time. 
You don't mean... Thomas? It's too early to speculate. And profiling is my job, remember? More importantly, Emily, could you get me a coffee? A fresh one, if possible. Coffee? At a time like this? <laughs> Why now? Emily, please. This is very important. Some coffee. And bring some milk on the side. Zach, you know something, don't you? I'm getting us some coffee. So tell me what you know. What is this coffee going to tell him this time? He's waiting for it. Ah, Zach, this is amazing. Even the taste of her coffee is thrilling, to say the least. What? No, nothing. All right, Emily makes shitty this isn't coffee. This the cup that Thomas always uses for me, is it? I'm sorry about that too, then. Yeah, you should I be. just used a cup that was nearby. You have a problem with that? A problem? Not at all, my dear Emily. The coffee is perfect. Well, okay, taste aside, this cup certainly is perfect. The big fish are biting at Velvet Falls. George, Emily, we're going to Velvet Falls. There's something waiting for us there. I can feel it. York, are you joking? You're trusting your cup? No, Emily. Going to a waterfall just might be a good idea. In feng shui, a waterfall is known to be a source of power. Even if we find nothing there, I'm sure it will give us some power. Thanks for the vote of confidence, George. And don't forget to bring a fishing rod. All right, I'll go get it. Fishing? <laughs> Are you too serious? George, do you have a net? Looks like we're going fishing, boys. Why not? We're in the Pacific Northwest. I think that's what they call it these days. Might as well do some fishering. What do we got? We got 360 bucks plus, man, $2,800. I almost have 20K in the bank. I'm rich. I'm filthy rich. I can buy anything in the world with 20k. I'm set for life. Well, I think it's time to go fishing. What do you guys think? A little bit of fishing at Velvet Falls so we can catch the big fish. Ah, here we are. Episode 3, 17, the new Raincoat Killer. Zack, I hope we can catch a big one. I hope so, too. Ah, nothing like a little bit of fishing. Oh, we got a... Uh, we have one rod. Guess we'll choose that rod. And uh, we have uh, normal bait. Guess we'll choose that bait. Information, wait for the right timing to get a big hit. But if your line breaks, you will lose one bait, so be careful. All right. Nothing better than fishing at a nice big lake with the Deadly Premonition whistle theme playing in the background. Quite possibly the, gay the greatest, the gayest theme, yes. The greatest theme. I removed an R there for no reason at all. The greatest theme in video game history. I, uh... I catch something here? Oh, I got a hit! I got a hit! Oh, man, here we go. Huh. Oh, oh! Oh, my God! Oh, I got it on the first try, I think! 
Oh my god, I think I got it. I got it on the first try. Yes. All right. We've caught something to brag about now. In all the history of the FBI, I'm probably the only one who fished out documents thrown into a waterfall. Don't you think so, Zach? I got it on the first I just try. Don't believe it. Files from a waterfall. Hot damn, am I good at this game or what? I am amazing at this game. Oh, what do these files say anyway? For eternal life and eternal power, make four human sacrifices on rainy nights, each after eating the seeds. Make sure the sacrifice to eat the seeds, too, before they die. The sacrifice must also not speak while they are being killed. What does that all mean? It's called the legend of the new raincoat killer. George, have you ever seen this handwriting? <gasps> yes. It's Thomas's. <gasps> oh, no. George. I need to take these documents to Harry. He said he'd tell me everything once I take the docs to him. But those are classified. I can't allow a civilian to view them. Especially that deranged old goat who owns most of the town. I agree with George. Harry is... How can I put it? He might be dangerous. You don't need to worry. You said it yourselves, didn't you? There has never been a mass murder case in this town. That means these documents pertain to a case that never actually happened. Just look at it as though they never actually existed, either. Ridiculous. York, I'm sure you've got a plan or something in mind. Okay. You have my approval. George, are you sure? Emily, we need to continue looking for Thomas. Our search may just have become a hunt. Yes, get on it. I'll go see Harry alone. Okay. I wouldn't believe it if I hadn't seen it for myself. But Thomas? There's got to be a rational explanation for this. Maybe. Maybe not. Zach, George has started to change. I think the deaths of Becky and Diane had a deep effect on him. I guess this town truly is without a king now. Come on, I got it on the first try, guys. Did you see that? It was amazing. That was amazing on the first try. That chapter's already over. It's clear. That chapter is already over. I got 370 bucks for that, plus 230. We're over 20k. 20k in the bank on the first try. Never before, never again. Good thing I'm only playing through this game once on the channel. This will not be a game I play. Hey, hey, I know everyone wants to see Deadly Premonition again. Okay then, Zach. Let's pay Harry another visit and get to the bottom of all this. I have to admit, I do like spending a bit of time investigating alone. I'm getting a bit sick of being told that I'm either too slow or too fast. You agree with me, right, Zach? Fantastic. And there's a phone nearby, too, so I can save. Did not mean to do that. So when we come back next time, we will uh, head back to Harry's, who is uh, 2,600 yards that way. I think we're going back to Harry's, right? I'm pretty sure that's what we're doing. So that's what we'll be doing next time. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the videos from today's session. And uh, I will see you guys then. So until then, see you guys then.